Fuller boards are expensive, but you can build your own at a fraction of the cost. So today I'm going to be showing you how I built my first surf foil board with no prior experience. Now I made a lot of mistakes during this build, so this is going to be more of a how not to build a foil board video. With that said, this is the board that I learned how to foil surf on and it served me well. So if you just avoid the mistakes I made in this video, you should be able to build yourself a surprisingly good foil board for only a couple hundred dollars. I started with an old soft top surfboard. The shape of this board worked really well for a surf foil board so I didn't have to do too much shaping. I ripped off the laminate and the soft foam that covered the styrofoam core. I then cut the blank down the middle so that I could glue in a stringer. This wooden stringer was my first mistake. I used a stringer which was too thick which added a lot of unnecessary weight. Here I'm laying out some spray foam to add some volume to the board. What I learned about the spray foam is that you need to spray it very slowly. Otherwise the foam expands with big holes in it as you can see in this clip here. I tried filling the holes with wood glue mixed with shredded foam particles from my planer and then two different types of spackle. The spackle filled it in nicely but added a lot of weight so I decided to plane all the foam off. My next mistake is that I did not realize that my board had a rotten wood stringer. The stringer was not in the center of the board like most boards so I assumed I had no stringer. I cut the rotten wood out with my multi-tool and then cut some pieces of styrofoam to fill that gap. Styrofoam glues together well so I didn't lose much structural integrity doing this. After some more sanding and shaping I was ready to start glassing. At first I was afraid of wasting resin so in the first lamination I did not mix enough epoxy but that was no issue as I quickly mixed up some more and got the entire deck saturated. And my next mistake, I decided to build my own track mounting system. I built it out of wood and aluminum so it added a lot of extra weight. I did this because if I wanted proper track boxes, I would have had to ship them in and wait a few weeks and I was just too keen to get out on my foil as soon as possible. After I finished all the fiberglassing, I spray painted it black. I then decided to try to add a hot coat, which did not go so well. I suspect that the resin I was using is not designed for surfboard building so it does not hot coat without any additives. I then glued on an old traction pad with some contact cement and mounted my foil. I then waxed it up and I was ready to go. So that's it, that's how not to build a foil board. Even though I made all these mistakes, I still learned how to surf foil on this board and it served me well. So hopefully that gives you some confidence when you go to build your first foil board. Now that you know what not to do, click on the link in the top corner of this video to see the build of this foil board. I still made some mistakes on this build, but this board is nice and light because I used proper tracks, carbon fiber stringer, so check that video if you want to know how you should build your first foil board. That's going to be it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one and thank you for watching.